All right, guys, we have something very, very fishy going on here that I want to kind of show you guys, something we've never really had in Fortnite. First thing I really want to point out to you guys at the very start of this video is if you go over to the Battle Pass, as you see at the top, it says the season ends in 18 days. Now, I don't know if you guys can recall, I don't know if you guys can remember, but uh, every season that we've ever had in Fortnite, pretty much uh, right after week 10, maybe give you a week, give or take, and then uh, bam, there will be a new season. Now, in this one, we have 18 days remaining. I don't know about you guys, but that kind of hypes me up, but also kind of scares me. It kind of makes me think maybe Fortnite's going to get lazy. Maybe they decided, you know what? A season every two months is too much work. We're going to move it to every three months. They could just be simply spreading the content out widespread because, well, they're just running out of ideas. Or it could mean they're planning for a very, very big ending to the season. What you think about that, let me know because I think it's very important and I'm curious and I know probably a lot of you guys are curious. But in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the week 11 challenges you heard me right week 11 challenges and also the rewards that could be coming in this i don't know if you guys know i am doing a v buck giveaway on every video at the moment if you guys want to enter you have to have liked the video make sure you subscribe to the channel comment down below your epic games name along with the system that you play on before we go too far i want to just show you guys exactly what we're talking about here and talk about what could be possible all right so this is actually a official statement from epic games creative featured challenges by the fortnite team this was posted uh, eight days ago, and I don't think a lot of people caught this. I think this has kind of went under disguise. It says, hey, Fortnite creators, on Wednesday, we announced that we are looking for islands that use the new challenge gallery coins. When creating games, you are now able to place coins around your island. Starting at the 7.40 patch, we will feature games that have used coin in an interesting way. A season seven week 11 battle royale challenge will use the coins as part of a challenge, exposing your featured maps to lots of players. Let me read that again. A season seven week 11 battle a royale challenge basically it's saying that there is week 11 challenges and this will be one of them so here's what we're looking for place the coins throughout your game spread the coins out based on difficulty creating a range of difficulty for coin collection collecting them all should be challenging we'll be looking at all types of games you can make free-for-alls mazes last one standing or invent something completely new the uniqueness and fun your island will be considered when we select the game to the future take your game to the next level we're excited of what you make so once again a season 7 week 11 battle royale challenge there's week 11 challenges we are looking at week seven challenges now it doesn't confirm what they are or what they're going to be and what the reward is going to be for it now as you guys may or may not know uh let me quickly show you my locker i currently have the stage two prisoner i'm going to go unlock stage three here in just a moment it seems like every time there's new challenges there's another stage to this there's been a lot of people talking about stage four prisoner i even talked about it in my video yesterday i think that's going to be a reward for the challenges i could be wrong but i do think week 11 challenges are going to have stage four for this skin this is something none of us have ever seen. There's always been 10 weeks since I could remember. This is odd. Week 11's coming. We're going to go into a game. I'm going to unlock stage three if you guys don't know how to unlock it. So the first order of business in this game is I want to unlock the stage three of the skin. Some of you guys might not know how to do this. Some of you guys might not even know there's a stage two. Stage two, you get in the castle of Polar Peak. There's a key. And stage three, we're going to get right on top of this hill here. And once again, like I said, a lot of you guys probably know that already. But there's probably also some people here that have no idea that you can even get stages to it that's why i highly recommend all of you guys go and unlock this the thing that like the casual player will never know about oh can only one person get it per game only one person can get it for game what up buddy i i win pickaxe battles dude that's how we do it oh am i gonna get it now yeah yeah i got it i don't know what i was expecting but i wasn't expecting that and uh that worked out yeah so obviously there's still people that need to get it at the time i'm recording this video so that means that there's probably people watching this video that have no idea you can do that by the way i just got some new lighting and i know that right now the lighting's pretty terrible but it's super late at night i have a funeral to go to in the morning so i didn't want to like spend a bunch of time working on the uh lighting there we go he has band-aids if i can make something out of this game that's gonna be awesome i had a very terrible start anyways while we have some time here let's go ahead and talk about the possible rewards like i said i think there's gonna be a stage four to the prisoner i've already seen people showing images of it i don't know if they're officially leaked or if they're you know fake or whatever the case may be it just seems to kind of fit with the storyline of what they've been doing with the prisoner so far as you guys know we're continuing to get earthquakes and i think an earthquake a lot of people has been speculating is actually a part the prisoner's skin they're calling this skin the the fire king that's its new name as you can see it's kind of getting all fiery and it was caged up in the ice king's den so 
I mean, I don't know. I think the skin's pretty sick. Every time that I get like a new piece to it, it's definitely a lot better. Like stage three is a lot cooler than stage two was. Sure, if there's a stage four, it's gonna be a lot cooler. Now you guys have seen the rewards I talked about in the last video. We're gonna be getting for the Valentine's Day events, including upgrades to battle pass skins with different uh, cosmetics. We got like the dark love ranger. We have all these things that are coming to the game and I'm not sure if some of them might be part of the challenges. I feel like if they're doing this special week 11 event, there's going to be more to it than just meets the eye. You know, it's going to be more than just, hey, do these challenges and get these battle stars or whatever. There's going to be something more to it. I can't wait to find out what that is. Now, as far as what it actually is, I have a lot of ideas, which I've already mentioned of what it could be. But as far as like being certain on anything, there's no way that anybody's certain on anything at this moment. I'm curious to see what you guys might have to say or what you guys might think in the comments of this video. There's no way anyone really knows, but the more guesses you see, the more guesses we have the uh, bigger the chance we have of actually getting it right. I've already got four kills. Honestly, for how bad of a start this game was, it's really not going that bad for me. I feel like uh, we're doing big things. There's another guy here. I heard another guy. I know I heard another guy. Later! I'm pretty sure I one pumped you. Regardless of that, you're dead. I I'm so tired. I'm so out of it, man. I, I don't know why. I really haven't been up that long. Uh, I think this is going to sound weird, but I think you guys are going to relate to this when I explain this. If, if you guys relate to this, say something because, like, I don't want to feel like a weird one, even though I feel like this is a pretty weird thing that I'm about to say. I feel like if you know that you have something to do in the morning and it's at an earlier time than what you're usually waking up at, right? Like, whatever your body is used to. Like, if you normally wake up at 9 a.m. and you know the next day you got to get up at, like, like 6 a.m. For whatever reason, that night when you're like kind of telling yourself that in your head, like, yo, I got to get up early. It seems like your body gets extremely tired way earlier than you would normally like go to sleep. For example, right now, I know that I have to get up tomorrow at like noon and I've been waking up at like 3 to 4 p.m. <laughs> My body's just like sending this message like, hey, dude, go to bed, bro. Because as of recording this video right now, that's only seven and a half hours of sleep. So probably by the time I actually get to sleep, it's going to be even less than that. I don't know if any of you guys can relate to that. I think there's people that can relate to that. Because anytime I know I have to get up early the next morning, I get really tired and one of my lights just went out. But whatever, it is what it is. Oh, and we're back. The light's back. And the other one went off. I guess it's like a timer. Just take the lighting away from me. I, I see. You better come back on over there. Right light. Yep. Okay. Dude, if I could win this game with how tired I am, I'm going to be shocked. But we're going to try. I mean, we got five kills. Five kills isn't bad for this early in a game. I played with this guy in Fortnite the other day that told me that mushrooms were a waste of time. Like eating mushrooms were a waste of time. Not really, man. That's one thing about Fortnite. I think kind of separates it from every other game is like you're always working with your team to figure out how to get everybody the most shields, the most health as possible. Just keeps the game flowing, you know? Jesus, I'm bad at the game right now. Need to pop this uh, campfire. I also kind of feel sick randomly, too. I don't know what's going on with me, boys. I'm telling you, man, it's that body thing. It's telling me to go to bed. We're almost there, okay? We just got to finish this game off, and then we can go to bed, dude. Then we're good to go. I guess I asked for it. I, I literally kind of asked for it. I'm like, hey, you know, I really need to go to bed. We got a black Lynx with the back bling for the uh, for the Zenith. Just sweating like crazy. And uh, that's going to wrap the game up. That's going to that's wrap the video up because I think I kind of got everything across that I need to talk about. I think that's the end of the video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'm hoping to do a stream today, which is actually earlier today if you're watching this video because i upload at night so oh yeah there's stage three i actually upload videos at night so if i streamed it'll be earlier but like i said i have a funeral to go to i feel like i can't just say i have a funeral to go to i gotta kind of explain it i haven't had grandparents since i was like nine years old basically my mom's best friend's mom died for the longest, I kind of seen her as like a grandma, even though I wasn't very, very close with her. As a kid, I was, but as a grown up, not so much. You know, I would always go over to this house and the grandma and the grandpa kind of became my grandma and grandpa. And apparently the grandpa has been talking like all good about me and stuff. I haven't talked to him in forever. So uh, yeah, we're going over to, I don't think it's really necessarily a funeral. It's like a, I don't know what it is to be honest with you. I don't really know the details, but basically we're all going to go be around each other and celebrate life, celebrate the life of her. And I'm kind of excited to catch up. 
up, but I kind of feel bad that I, I really haven't talked to her in like a long time. I don't even know the last time I talked to her. It literally could have been like 10 years. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Once again, if you guys want to enter the V-Book giveaway, make sure you guys have liked the video. You guys are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you comment down below your Epic Games name alongside the system that you play on. I'll be hooking some of you guys up in the next couple of days. If you watch to this point, comment eggs on the video. It'll confuse everyone. I'll know who's loyal. And if you haven't yet, dude, click the notification bell. I'm back on this, okay? I'm back doing what you guys subscribe for. I promise. Thank you all for watching. Appreciate you. I'm out.